Welcome to this video on copying an angle. So I'll go through the instructions and then I will do the examples at the bottom. So you'll be given an angle and we just want to copy that exact angle, the same exact measure. So the first thing that we're going to do is draw the vertex of our new angle and label it. You can label it point D like I have it. Then we're going to draw a ray. So just take your straight edge and just draw a ray out. And remember ray has one arrow. Then we're going to place our compass on point A and slide our compass out about halfway or a little over halfway and lock it. And we're going to draw a two arcs. Mine is smaller here, but that's okay. It doesn't matter as long as it goes through both. And I labeled it point B and point C. All right, then without changing the width, I'm going to go to point D and do the same thing. I'm going to draw an arc. I labeled this point E. Then I'm going to put my compass on point E and draw another arc. And where they intersect, that's where my new ray will go. Okay, so let's try that with an actual example. So here is my angle. So give yourself enough space to draw a new angle and draw a new vertex. So I'm going to label this A and label this D like I have in the notes. I'm going to draw a ray and I'm going to kind of make it look exactly like this ray because I want this angle to look the same. It doesn't have to be perfectly parallel but just kind of similar and it can go outside the box. That's fine. All right, then I'm going to put my compass on A and I'm going to draw an arc through both rays. I'm going to label this one B and this one C. Then without changing the width, I'm going to go to D and I'm going to draw a similar arc. And I'm going to label this E. All right, then again, I'm going to measure the width from here to here because I want this width to be the same. So I'm going to measure. Now on my compass, I'm going to have to use one of these little circles here. I'm going to use this one. All right, so I'm going to come down here so that it'll be the same width. I'm going to call this F, and then I'm going to draw my new line segment. And make it a ray since it's an angle. All right, go ahead and try this one. If you want to pause the video, you can and try it by yourself. All right, so let me go over the steps. So I'm gonna label this A. I'm gonna put a vertex down here and label it D. I'm gonna draw one of the rays for D and I'm gonna try to make it look similar to this one. Then I'm going to draw an arc through A. It doesn't matter how big as long as it goes through both rays. And I'm gonna do the same thing down here without moving the width. If you need to pick up your compass or your finger, you can. Just make sure you line it back up on D. All right. Then I'm going to measure the width of this angle because I want this angle to have the same width. So I'm going to measure from here to here. Let's do it this way. So I'm going to put the end of my compass on one of the dots and I'm going to slide it out so that it will be the width of the angle. Then I'm just going to slide it down and make a little arc here. So I'm going to call this, let's see, let's label our points. So this would be B and C. This would be, uh, we already have D, so E and F. And I'm going to draw a ray through D and F. And that is how you copy an angle.